Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Another finding in cardiac tamponade is IVC and hepatic vein Doppler changes. Let's first start with IVC changes. The classic and typical finding of IVC in cardiac tamponade is non-collapsible and dilated IVC that we called it IVC platera and determined by two uh, parameter or criteria. First, the largest diameter of the IVC is more than two centimeter at any time of the respiration. And second, IVC doesn't collapse more than 50% during expiration. And the value of the, this IVC platera is in pre, a negative predictive value. What does it mean? In 90-70% of the patient that I, uh, this IVC platera is negative, the patient doesn't have cardiac tamponade. In another word, 90-70% of the patient with cardiac tamponade has positive IVC platera. They have dilated and non-collapsible IVC. In fraction, very small person of the patient that they are severe hypovolemic, we can expect not to see this uh, sign. And in, you can see this situation like the patient is on diuretic or ha patient has lost a lot of blood like accident has cardiac tamponade and lost uh, a lot of blood too. So in those cases, uh, this uh, finding can be negative, but in other cases, almost always, will be positive. Now let's see how we evaluate of the, uh, this finding. First measurement. For measurement, uh, as a general principle of the physics, ultrasound physics, the best and highest resolution is when our uh, structure that will be the walls of the IVC perpendicular to the sound wave. In other words, IVC with Hilto, we have to create a horizontal IVC. And for measurement, we have a two technique, IVC uh, with the 2D or with the M mode. In any of those situations, always we have to uh, use the most important uh, principle. Our measurement or our cursor in any situation, 2D measurement or M mode uh, evaluation should be perpendicular to the both walls. Otherwise, I notice some tech, they keep IVC oblique, doesn't, it's not too much big deal, but it uh, decreases the resolution, but they measure uh, perpendicular to the monitor, not perpendicular to the wall. So they overestimate the diameter of the IVC. Just don't forget measurement in that correct uh, orientation. Second, usually we measure at one to one and a half centimeter uh, distal to the entrance of the uh, IVC to the RA almost after middle hepatic vein, but doesn't matter. Any spot that has largest diameter, we measure that spot. That is for the 2D measurement or M-mode measurement, the diameter of the IVC. Then we go for evaluation of the uh, collapsibility. For that matter, we have two techniques. One technique is that we uh, put cursor on the uh, spot, that largest spot then ask the patient to breathe in and uh, breathe out. As you know, practically, this uh, technique has many problems. First, with the breathing, 
our access change, uh, cursor change. Second, we lose the uh, view of the IVC or we go off axis, a little more lateral uh, or medial, so our measurement will not be too much accurate. The best technique for uh, evaluation of collapsibility during respiration is sniff test. For this matter, we put cursor at the, our uh, spot, then we ask the patient one time uh, breathe very fast from the nose, sniffing. Then we get a uh, very nice uh, M mode. Then we go measure largest and smallest diameter. Then we have uh, our result.